Aside from the North's nuclear provocations, the international community is seeking to crack down on the regime's human rights abuses. The UN Human Rights Council wants to set up a special commission for a closer inspection of the human rights situ situation in the country. Our Hwang sung has the details. North Korea may be in for tighter international monitoring for its human rights abuses, which a UN human rights investigator says has reached a critical mass. At a UN meeting on human rights in Geneva on Monday, Marzuki Darusman said at least 200,000 people, including many children, are detained in political prison camps in North Korea. He also identified nine areas of key concern regarding Pyongyang's violation of human rights. These include depriving its citizens of food, the use of torture, arbitrary detention, and the denial of freedom of expression. The Roosman urged the UN Human Rights Council to set up a special commission to conduct an independent and thorough investigation of the issue. I believe that many may amount to crimes against humanity, committed as part of systematic and or widespread attacks against civilian population under Article 7, Para 1 of the Roman, Rome Statute of the International Community, Criminal Court. North Korea has refuted the accusations and claims the international community is using the pretext of human rights protection as an excuse to bully it. It is nothing more than an instrument of political plot aimed at sabotaging my socialist system by defaming the dignified image of DPRK and creating an atmosphere of international pressure but North Korea may be the only one opposed to the establishment of such a commission. It has the backing of UN Human Rights Commissioner Navi Pele and all 47 member states of the council. For now, the council is expected to pass the resolution before it wraps up its month-long sitting on March 22nd. Although the commission won't be able to conduct actual investigations if North Korea refuses to cooperate, the establishment of such commission will surely increase international pressure on the regime following the implementation of fresh sanctions by the UN Security Council. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.